um today we'll be making hello guys and welcome today we're making a simple calculator using control flow so i'm going to just go to new project and i'm going to take console app as usual then i click create then here yeah, i'm just going to put simple calculator calculator so i create and voila so in my calculator app uh, i want a calculator that in fact this is going to be one of the best calculator that we we are going to be making right so um, i'll start by including um, um let me just include um name space std right now um i'm going to define double to be num1 num2 so the two numbers that we want then i'm going to define a character for the operator so this is going to be operators like plus uh, plus minus addition division right and then now this is going to take uh, num uh, numbers right so first i'm going to do see in uh, see out and enter the first number so the user is going to enter the first number or um, let's let's start by just making a simple menu is yes. let, let's let me just make simple um, calculator calculator menu right so I think that is good see out and let me do this yes fine then i'm going to do let me put a backslash n here or oh, i just do n line there's no problem i just do n line yeah and also i just do n line yes Then see out. Enter first number. Right. Backslash and okay. So this is going to be our name menu. Then I'm going to do C in, and I take the num one. Now this is something I'm going to do if c in dot fail right so i'm going to check for numeric values right if it is numeric values that are entered so i'm going to do c out and i'm going to do invalid number enter a numeric value right so that gets printed on the screen then now I can end the program by just doing return return one so you can exit the program so let me see okay now there's something that I'm going to add up here so I'm just going to do include um, include a limit right uh, limit is going to check for for invalid is going to handle um invalid um input right what what i'm doing here like see in so now let's just check this out what we have done all right let's let's see what what comes out on screen okay simple calculator and the person enters uh imagine that i enter something like h right so it tells me invalid number invalid number enter a numeric value yes that is what i want to do so yeah i don't need um, to have yes good like that yes. okay now the person enters the first number that is fine then we're going to act ask the person c out to enter the second c out um enter an operator right so the operators will just indicate to the person this 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 
right so the person has to enter the operator so we're going to do c in also and i'm going to do op as we define above then similarly i'm going to do if um c in dot no 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 if here i'm going to do um, if the operator um is not equal to a plus and the operator is not equals to um multiplication or can we use division right i can use it's or op is not equals to division and op is not equals to this many subtraction then we're going to say that c out invalid operator select from so i just copy this so we're going to select from from here and just just put it here so and also what has to happen is that it should return one for the program to exit one so the program start running now we we have our operator and we have our um, first digit so i'm going to put in the second digit so i'm going to do c out in um, enter the second number right so i just do semicolon c in so like similarly this is going to be norm two and i'm also going to do the check if c in dot fail right so this checks for invalid number so i also going to print c out um, invalid number enter a numeric value then we're going to return return one again to terminate the program now this is good so i have my no first number and my my second number so what do i need to do now i i just need to to do um either i'm going to do a switch statement here or i do an if statement here so let me perform now the calculation so i can do with if operator is double equals to um plus right i can do this or i can decide to do switch um, switch then i pass in operator right so and then now i'll check with the various cases so let me just do this and then uh you can do that so i'm going to do c out is uh result result will be so this is addition num1 plus num2 right and i end line then i'm going to do the else if oh let me put it down a little bit then our operator is double equals to a minus then in this case we're doing c out result will be num1 minus num2 then i end line also then i do the same else if operator is double equals to multiplication the star then i'll do c out um result Uh, num1 star num2 end line okay now the last case is else if operator is double equals to a division all right so here also we're going to check for division by zero so i'm going to say that if um 
of the operator if um, num2 is equals to zero it means that the person enters zero for the denominator then we want to say that c out um, error division by zero is invalid it's not correct so i n else see out the result is num1 divide num2 then i n line so this should be good and here yeah, i do return zero so i think we should be good by so doing all right so now let me run the program all right okay so let me make a comment here that this is to handle handle invalid input yes so i build the solution okay so voila so now build successful so when i run it it tells me to enter the first number so i enter 10 I enter the operator so i'm going to enter division then uh enter the second number let me enter zero right it tells me it's error right division by zero is not allowed right so i enter five star six it gives me 13. so i want to to do this here i want to when they are entering the operator i want to give space good so i run again okay um four um minus nine so minus five all right okay so we we'll see how our calculator is working right this is very simple calculator and we are doing error handling there we're using conditional statements we're using operators so far everything that we've learned um, from beginning to now is included into this simple um calculator so 